Good morning my loves, this is Natalia and welcome to today's live reading for the messages, the angel messages for the week. Now as you will see I'm not live but I have recorded a video especially for you because I'm going to be on holiday and I didn't want to miss out on this because I'll probably be asleep <laughs> at 10.30am UK time while I'm away. So I've drawn our cards and recorded this, um, this beautiful guidance for the week. So I'm going to be using the um, Angel Tarot deck for our general message for everyone for the week. And then I'd like you to invite you to, to choose message one, two or three. And I'm using the Animal Messages cards there. Animal Messages by Susie Green. And then I'm also using the Magical Unicorn deck by Doreen Virtue. Okay, so let's get started with the message for the week for all of us. And our first message here is the Ten of Air. And we have um, the message of the end of difficult situations. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Recovering from an addiction. So you can see these unicorns all running, running away from this place that they don't want to be anymore. And it signifies the end of something, the drawing of a line under some part of your life as we begin this new week. And I think you're going to be very pleased about um, the fact that there's a line being drawn under this because it's something that you don't want to do anymore. It's like an old jaded part of your life that's no longer has any reason to be part of who you are now and it's like a breath of fresh air it's like somebody's opened the door and let fresh air into your life and number 10 in numerology what we always do is reduce double digits down so we add them together so 10 um, 1 plus 0 equals 1 which is a new start it's a new beginning it's it's freshness it's it's time it's about time that this new stuff came in but it's also important that you embrace these changes because sometimes change can be forced upon us or sometimes we ask for change we want change but it doesn't necessarily feel that comfortable making those changes so we can say we want this change and then it all feels a bit weird it feels a little bit odd and we're having to get used to it all but just know that you are learning new patterns of behavior. Your old ones don't suit you anymore. And be like those unicorns. Go from that place, embrace the new things that are coming in. Really take this opportunity as something very um, big and bold for you to move towards. And it will make such a big difference in your life, trust me. So that's what we've, we've got, this wonderful new start at um, the beginning of this week. Let's see what else is in store for us all. And then we have the three of earth. And we have this absolutely beautiful butterfly. Look at it. Its wings are being unfolded. And you, they've got these little fairies here, like um, team members helping this this butterfly to be as beautiful as it can possibly um, imagine it can be and we all need a hand don't we we're all really capable of amazing things but we need often need somebody to compliment us in our lives to bring us some of the skills and talents or resources that we don't necessarily have or we bring those to other people and maybe you're the fairy this week maybe you're not the the butterfly on the receiving end of help maybe you are the helper but one thing's for sure the power of creativity is where it's at this week and it's all about recognition for very high quality work and being a team player so um, th number three is um, all about associations it's about joining with others it's about uh, very much celebrating it's a celebration of unions um, really connecting to other people and um, like I said having this connection that makes something really special that wasn't there before so we're always perfect as we are we're always unique and we have these amazing qualities but when we combine them with the qualities of others this is where pure magic can happen and so anything can happen this week particularly where you're being creative creating something new and remember 
we had the turn of air which was all about new stuff coming in you know get rid of the stale old stuff in our lives this time this cycle's coming to an end and then there's this fresh energy being injected and it's bringing some powerful really positive things that are creative and also this three of air card can mean um, reaching a milestone in terms of finances so seeing some kind of financial gain some little pot of money coming in into your bank account um, so that would be really good too wouldn't it um, we're all up for that i'm sure okay so now i'd like to invite you to choose one two or three you can stick with one two or three for both cards or you can have one for one and two for another you know you choose so i'm going to begin with the animal cards first of all and we have the panda if you chose number one this is your card it's the panda and the meaning of this card is enjoy the sanctuary of solitude to regain self-esteem and tranquility so you can see the the panda's endangered, um, so whenever the endangered animals come out in this deck, I always, um, always feel really good about that because it's obviously something very special. So this is saying that, um, you know, the, the panda relaxes in her world and um, is, isn't dependent on anyone, you know. It has a, a certain food source, which is a bamboo and it just enjoys that sanctuary of nourishment and being able to flourish the thing with the panda is you know that they need this sanctuary because like i said they are endangered and so when we see ourselves as as very unique you know there's only one of you in the world so if you chose this card you're like the panda there's a certain um level of nourishment you need to give yourself you need to be kind to yourself because you are a precious gift to the world and we don't want to lose you so therefore it's it's important to have a, a safe place where you protect yourself where you feel like you are always looking out for you and um, and you're taking care of you that is really important okay so do that this week nurture and nourish yourself and be kind to yourself you're incredibly precious if you chose number two, your card is the eagle, beautiful eagle there. Create your vision. So the eagle has the ability to step back and to really look from a very broad perspective at things and then to swoop down on whatever it wants to, um, to go after. It's got, a, um, it's got its eye on the goal. And so the eagle has a vision moving in the distance and um, but is able to move very quickly okay so this message for you is that events can move very quickly if you move quickly and you need to also you know have a, have a very clear idea of what it is that you are trying to manifest in your life and when you have a clear idea when you're very 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 I'm sure and you're giving that positive very clear message across to the universe the universe can help things to move very quickly and also this is a very spiritual bird you know it was very highly um, prized by the Native American Indians seen as this incredibly noble very wise bird and helps you to develop your spirituality which in turn can help you to achieve your dreams so your spirituality is going to give you the, the vision that you need to be able to um, manifest that in your life as reality, as quickly, quicker than you would believe is possible. So work on, on the spiritual side of yourself. Okay, and then we've got our final card. So let's have a look. If you chose number three, we have rhinoceros rhinoceros there it's very slow moving beast isn't it and um, and the message here is still the chatter within to see your true path in life still the chatter within to see your true path in life so the the rhinoceros is there um, standing very sturdy his feet very firmly planted on the ground and he doesn't make a move, he doesn't make any, any rash moves, although he can do, he can charge, he can, you know, if he's, if he's in a, 
a place where he needs to defend himself, he can run very, very fast. But generally, he's just kind of standing there still, calm, going within. And when he wants to make a move, he can do so with the greatest of speed. So that message is for you there to, to go within to find the answers to what is it that you need to direct your energy towards? How is it that you need to move or make a move that is um, as quick as it needs to be? So anything that's been um, muddled in your mind, meditation will definitely help you. Or just still your ego, quiet your ego because it sounds like it's been chattering a lot and telling you things that really aren't helpful for you so um, so just release that mental chatter and be like the rhinoceros be ready to charge when you need to but generally be still and powerful standing firm in the space that you're in right now so your message if you chose number one in the unicorn cards is have a look at that exercise run walk swim or otherwise move your body this will give you more energy and happiness so yes move lots of movement needed for you now I know some of you it may be difficult because of um, injuries or um, health issues to uh, to suddenly start on some kind of very energetic exercise routine but there's always something that you can do to move your body more so you probably, well, hopefully this is resonating with you and you probably know that you, you don't do enough. No, I don't think any of us really do. We've, we've all got more sedentary lifestyles than we need to. So for you, it could simply be that when you're going to the supermarket, you could park the car a little bit further away from the door and walk there. Instead of taking an escalator or a lift or an elevator, you could, um, you could walk up the stairs and you could just generally move yourself around a bit more. Get up from your desk, get up from your chair and um, not sit around watching TV. Maybe go for a little stroll in the evening rather than catching um, a TV and flopping down on the sofa. And trust me, exercise actually makes you feel more energetic. For, it's a very, very bizarre thing. <laughs> but I was not exercising or doing anything and I needed to. And so I started to, to take these gym classes and they have made me feel so much more energised. It's, uh, it's wonderful. But I could do more. I definitely could. Um, so that is that is a wonderful message for for all of us. I think to uh, to move our bodies and to enjoy exercising. If you chose number two, your unicorn card is thankful. Think about the people and things you feel grateful for. So you've got this lady here. She's really cuddling that cat, and the unicorn's very f feeling very blessed to have her and the cat in its life. So. We do take a lot of things for granted. And you know, it, it's not just people, it's the things that we have around us, you know, the possessions. And um, imagine if there was some really important um, piece of equipment that you had and it got lost or stolen or it broke, how devastated you'd feel. So it's important always to give thanks for everything. I know that one of the rituals that that uh, Louise Hay, the founder of Hay House Publishing, what she did every morning when she went to sleep, she would lie in bed going, thank you bed <laughs> for being, making me so comfy, you are so comfortable and I love you, you give me a really good night's sleep. And she would thank all these inanimate objects a thousand times a day for all of the blessings that they gave her. And that lady lived a very long, healthy and prosperous life. So it certainly, um, a, a role model to us all, Louise Hay, with her thankfulness and giving blessings constantly. And can you imagine if all our thoughts were about giving blessings? She assures us in her books and her writings and teachings that that changes your mindset and it makes you more positive and your day flows along more positively. So give that a try if you chose this card. Be thankful today for all of the things that are, are very good big blessings in your life and small blessings too most of all the small small ones so the final card if you chose number three is believe in yourself look at that that unicorn is talking to the little one and saying come on reach for the skies there's a rainbow behind those clouds see yourself doing well and you will envisage yourself being exactly where you want to be in life 
achieving the things you want to achieve, having a really good day. And you know, when you have a positive mindset like that, when you believe in yourself, when you see the, not just the clouds, but you see the little rainbow tucked behind them, then that is when the magic happens in your life. So, um, so be positive about everything that you are and all that you can achieve, all that you're about to achieve today, this week, this month, this year. Believe in yourself, see yourself doing well, and you will. And if you don't, if you don't believe in yourself, find somebody who's a lovely mentor who can be like your cheerleader, but also be that cheerleader to others in your own life, okay? Pay it forward. So my loves, I hope you've enjoyed the messages for the week and thank you for bearing with me as I have my little rest and my holiday. I will be back with you again next week, I assure you I will be live again then. Take care, have a wonderful week and sending you lots of love and angel blessings.